I'm so excited to be here today to walk you through Procore's financial management solution. We understand there are different construction needs across the globe, not to mention unique disciplines and sizes of business to account for in each region. Focusing on global construction practices and based on your continuous partnership and feedback, we've identified areas of commonality. Regardless of location, financial management holds universal truths. All projects have a budget, contracts, and processes for managing change, documentation, and payments. And visibility into these key areas across field and office teams is critical for successful project delivery. To empower customers across the globe, we've made our financial management solution even more flexible and easier to use, with features that improve field and office collaboration, make it more efficient to manage project change, give users greater job cost reporting, as well as broadening the scope of our financial solution into the payment space. Let's dive into how Procore is revolutionizing connecting your office and field teams so they're working with consistent financial information. First, we're making access to real-time cost data easier by delivering new accounting integrations with QuickBooks Online, Xero, and JobPack. We've also released improvements to MYOB, CMIC, and Yardi integrations. Linking your project management system to your accounting system helps field teams make informed decisions based on accurate data that keeps the project moving in the right direction. It's been great speaking with customers like Douglas Shulman from Coastal Development Partners. He shared that the process of passing important financial data between field and office teams has been streamlined by the QuickBooks Online Connector, which has allowed both teams to execute faster and with more certainty. Another way we're connecting teams is with the new workflows tool, which allows companies to configure Procore to run unique approval workflows to better automate complex processes. Let's take a closer look. This is the new workflows tool, which can help automate processes to save you time and money. Workflows are flexible and allow you to add one or more conditions in order for your teams to have more autonomy on how the workflow is routed based on the circumstances. By making a few adjustments, you can set up conditional logic in workflows to meet business requirements. And the best part is, is that this can be done without IT support or assistance from a Procore representative. In this example, a subcontract has been sent by the PM and after the PM responded, automatically routed to the VP for their review. This workflow was configured to automatically route contracts of a predetermined size to the VP. The workflows tool is both powerful and configurable, which means you can implement the financial controls you need without sacrificing any flexibility or ease of use. And by automating workflows, you can save time, reduce errors, and improve financial controls. By automating the management of complex processes, Procore is helping you mitigate risk and improve efficiency. We've also delivered project financials enhancements to make change management more efficient, consistent, and accurate, with features like a sleek new change events layout, which simplifies the management of change by converting what was several separate page views into a single editable list. We've also added a new streamlined way to create multiple commitment change orders in one bulk action. Lastly, we've added new data points for measuring the age of change events and new methods to improve data consistency by syncing budget codes and line items across several tools. We understand the importance of having accurate insights into your business and field operations. Enhanced reporting opens up platform-wide reporting capabilities that draw from project data across Procore tools. We've expanded this reporting so you can now view financial data alongside crews, timesheets, time and materials tickets, and production quantities. This helps to identify areas of budget overrun attributed to labor costs. Let's take a closer look at these reports. The first one we're gonna look at is a productivity report. This productivity trend analysis report allows you to report on changes in productivity over time, so you can forecast your projects more accurately. Now, if you'd like to be more strategic about the crews you're putting on specific jobs, you can pull a list across your entire company and see which of your crews are the top performing. As you can see here, the wire pull crew looks like they would be a great crew to use if it was an important job. In this last productivity view, this report shows your average production rates for specific cost codes and areas. Now armed with these historical productivity rates, 
you can more accurately estimate and be more strategic bidding on future projects. Moving into labor costs. Do you often wonder what your labor costs are going to be at the completion of a project if you were to continue at the current rate of production? Well, by adding a fixed unit cost to this productivity report, you can see what your labor costs will be at the end of the job, all in one report. The last report we're going to talk about today is the TNM Ticket Reconciliation Report, also known as day worksheets in some regions. This report shows all of your TNM tickets that are not attached to a change order, so you can clearly see where you're leaving thousands of dollars on the table with tickets that haven't gone through the rest of the process. As we improved our reporting and financial management solutions, we've identified opportunities to deliver even more value to customers. I'm thrilled to share the only payment solution built on the Procore Construction Management Platform that handles all aspects of the payment process between general contractors and subcontractors. Launching in the US this year, Procore Pay. Procore Pay will help reduce time to pay, streamline the collection of payments requirements, and provide stakeholders with better visibility into the payments process to help ensure compliance. Let's watch. This is the Invoice Dashboard, a one-stop shop where a general contractor can view invoices across all projects and drill into their payment status, owner funding information, potential subcontractor holds, and other general invoice information. After the subcontractor submits an invoice, signs their lien waivers, and the invoice is approved by the project team, we can begin Invoice Review, which starts and ends with the Payment Requirements Checklist, which provides both the general contractor and the subcontractor visibility into all payment requirements at the Commitment, Invoice, and Lien Waiver levels. The checklist can be configured to meet the needs of the general contractor and can also be used to administer a manual hold for any reason outside the pre-configured payment requirements. Items are checked off as they are completed until all requirements have been met for payment. And when we are ready to deliver a payment, our disperser can log in and select the invoices they wish to pay. After we select the invoices we wish to pay, we will confirm the totals here. Then select the bank account we want to use to pay the invoices. The disperser will confirm their request to make payments, and the payment process begins when we click the Authorize button. At this point, funding is requested via our banking partner, Golden Sachs, from the selected bank account en route to the subcontractor's desired bank account by ACH transfer. After invoices are paid, unconditional lien waiver signatures are released, ERP information is synced, and the subcontractor is notified of the payment. Records of all disbursements are in the next tab, providing on-the-spot reporting. It's fast, easy, and secure. Amazing to see Procore Pay in action. It's going to help cut down on payment delays and allow you to scale up your business operations without scaling up administrative costs. Recently, I had the chance to meet with a customer who participated in the Procore Pay pilot program. The 2021 Procore Groundbreaker of the Year, Tiffany Artigas, Director of Operational Excellence at Vertex Construction, one of the largest general contractors in South Florida. Let's hear what she had to say. Tiffany Artigas, welcome. Hi, Caitlin, great to see you. Great to see you too, Tiffany. So can you tell us a little bit more about Vertex and your role there? Absolutely. So Vertex was founded eight years ago by construction veteran Rex Kirby. We've got regional offices in Tampa and in Gainesville, and we were just ranked as the sixth largest GC in South Florida. And last year we were voted best places to work. When Rex founded Vertex, he knew he wanted the best of the best, the best systems, software, and people. So of course that's how we ended up with Procore. As Director of Operational Excellence, I am responsible for the evaluation and implementation of construction technology systems uh, to make sure that we're operating excellently. Well, congratulations on being voted best places to work. That's really wonderful to hear. Um, and it sounds like solving really complex processes for your customers really energizes you. That, that's great. It does, yes. So I'm curious to hear why Vertex chose Procore's financial management solution. 
So our business model revolves around construction management, and we use Procore to manage every aspect of that, from the drawing tool to the RFI tool and the submittal tool. PMs pretty much live inside of Procore. People know how to use Procore, and it just makes sense to keep everyone on the same tool. For them to jump out of the platform and into something else, you're going to run into learning curve issues, and it's just going to slow down progress. So we went with Procore Financials for that very reason. Has that had any impact on the collaboration between your field and office teams? Oh gosh, absolutely. It has tremendously helped with field and office collaboration. So as I said, operations pretty much lives inside of Procore and accounting lives inside of Sage. Um, so you have a logistical um, separation between the two departments, which kind of muddies up the communication of information that's flowing from one department to the other. Um, before we were integrating the systems of Procore and Sage, uh, we were doing a lot of double entry. Um, people would be creating things inside of Procore and then duplicating them inside of Sage. And inevitably, mistakes are going to be made. People are only human. Um, we were finding us, ourselves spending hours in reconciliation at the end of a project just because somebody reversed some numbers on a change order. Now, since the two systems are integrated, we don't have any of those reconciliation issues anymore. And it's really helped speed out the closeout process. Um, so Procore fills in that communication gap without sacrificing the accuracy of the financial information that's flowing between the field and the office. Now let's talk about Procore Pay. What do you think are the biggest challenges the industry faces with the payment process today? Definitely the amount of time for subcontractors to get paid. Everybody is stretched so thin these days between material delays and products becoming unavailable. They're having to extend their credit lines just because they can't get product put in place fast enough. I mean, that's when subcontractors are getting paid, when work is put in place. So if they're ordering items and paying for them up front and the money isn't coming until months later, they're going to run into a significant challenge. So that the faster we can pay them, the better they're going to do, they're going to be more motivated. And a motivated subcontractor is going to be a more productive subcontractor. Yeah, we, we definitely know about all of those challenges of, you know, getting proof of work in place, going upstream, and then having, you know, payments flow back downstream. So we're, we're really excited to introduce Procore Pay because we feel like that will help solve a lot of these challenges. Agreed. So your team has been participating in the Procore Pay pilot program. How's that been so far? So far, it's been fantastic. The pay product team couldn't be a better group of people to work with. I have to say, we were looking at a different product that's similar to Procore Pay that also facilitates digital payments, but I had learned about Procore Pay at Groundbreak, and I was so glad that I had. I had been hesitating on adding that other product to our tech stack because it doesn't integrate with Procore, and like I said, getting our operations team to jump out of one system and into the other really just puts a wrench in the whole system. So instead, we get to work with the Procore Pay team to build this new solution that's on the same platform. Yeah, we definitely think of our customers as partners in building these things. So really appreciate your, your input there too. Um, are, there any, are there any particular features that you're really excited about or that you feel like addresses any of those challenges that you just outlined for us? So in addition to those digital payments, Pay allows us to build these custom checklists that solve our challenge of transparency amount around the required documentation to receive payment. And there is a lot of paperwork involved in the payment transaction process. And all that slows down getting money into the hands of the subcontractors. So Pay comes with an out-of-the-box basic checklist, but you get to customize it to set it up for the way your company does business. So Vertex may have 10 items that we require before we release payment. Your company may have more or less, then that could be tailored based on your business practices. We collect things like you do, certificates of insurance, lien waivers, owner payments, until we, uh, we will we'll release the payment. Um, but we get to add specific things that are specific to Vertex. So speaking of lien releases, we are also now able to create and manage a lien waiver process in Procore Pay. We've rolled out pay in one of our larger projects in Tampa, and the subs are loving it. They are already working inside of it, and they're having new issues because they're used to Procore. There's nothing new that they need to figure out. They know where the settings tab is to change their settings or the submenus to click to move from tool to tool. So now they get to submit their information with ease, and they get the added benefit of getting payments faster with a more transparent process. That's that's wonderful. It's. It always surprises me how something so simple as, you know, a shared checklist, right? And just having that little bit of extra visibility and transparency can solve some of these problems. So that's great to hear that your subs like it. 
Yeah, and it saves us time also because instead of them having to call to the office to say, "Hey, did you get my RO? Uh, did you get my release? Did you get this? Have you been paid? Have you been funded yet?" They can just look on the checklist and they have all that information right at the tip of their fingers. What other measurable results have you seen other than you know maybe less phone calls and emails and drive-bys and things like that? Well, um, I always struggle with formulating an ROI, but Procore Pay actually makes figuring it out a no-brainer. So right off the tip of the iceberg, I can call out lean releases. So we do have a third-party software that we use that works outside of Procore um, that manages our lean release process. That uh, costs us about $18,000 a year. So that's going to be the first immediate savings that we're able to recognize. And that's a big chunk of change. But then there's the not so obvious cost savings, such as staff costs. So right now we're running checks two times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the pro on those days, the project accountants are up and down all day long answering the door to, to, to hand over checks to subs coming to pick them up. So accountants like Miracel and Ray and Kena, they're up and down all day long losing valuable hours of productivity. And that doesn't even take into account the amount of hours that Talia is spending cutting these checks in the office two days a week. So we have about six accountants and we calculate they're up about four hours a day on those two days. When you do the math, that's about 48 hours a week of productivity lost. That's like a whole person and an annual average salary of about $90,000. That is a significant cost savings. So Procore Pay allows us to get out of the business of people showing up to our office to receive checks. It's 2023, it's not the 90s anymore. We've got things like Venmo and PayPal and Zelle. Even my mom sends my kids their birthday presents via Zelle. So what are we doing here still cutting checks? But it goes further than money. Let's talk about the ROI of happier, safer employees. Reducing the face-to-face -face interaction eliminates unnecessary spread of germs. Of course, we all know about COVID, but there's other things like the flu and the common cold. By reducing those interactions, we're helping to keep them safer and healthier. So we're really early in our journey right now, but we can already see how this is gonna be a huge cost savings to us. And we anticipate a significant return on our investment with Procore Pay. That's so exciting to hear. Tiffany, thank you so much for being here today and taking the time to share all of these insights. We really appreciate this and are really excited to be on this journey together. Thank you so much. If you're interested in learning more about Procore Pay, please visit our website to join the waitlist. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear how our new financial management tools can boost field and office collaboration, enhance workforce reporting, and improve financial control.